Hare Krishna. So my name is Guru Prasad Swami and uh, my service, present service in ISKCON is GBC Secretary for Mexico, Central America, Colombia, Venezuela, Trinidad. Yes, thank you Maharaj for your time. So as we know, there are four waves of ISKCON movement created by Srila Prabhupada, Sankirtan movement, temple worship and spiritual initiation and also one is Dharma. So some opinion came up that one is Dharma is not very important and some devotees in Iskon also thinking that this is very essential as Srila Prabhupada instructed even until he's uh, almost leaving his body. Yes. So what what is your thought on this? Well of course Prabhupada mentions Varnashram Dharma all through his books, every canto of the Bhagavatam. Prabhupada had talks about it, as far as I remember, you know, serious talks in New Vrindavan, uh, morning walks in Vrindavan, morning walks 1972-1974, speaking about it in 1977, you know. And so I would say that you know, Barnashram. Of course, Srila Prabhupada emphasized that when one comes to the, the point of surrender, if one is really surrendered to Krishna, then Varnashram is a tool or an instrument. But for most, most devotees are actually, while you're still conditioned by the modes of nature, then some aspects of Varnashram will be beneficial for conducting one's own life, what to speak of organizing temple, organizing a community, and organizing society. Yes, thank you, Maharaj. So, but nowadays we, we can see in our society that not so many devotees put their interest into one Sama thing or developing kind of Vaisnava community, like farm community, car protection. So what is actually the biggest stumbling block to Develop this Varnasama. A stumbling block is conditioning. We're conditioned growing up in a city or a town with modern conveniences. And Srila Prabhupada once, you know, said that, you know, the saying goes, I can't remember if it's a Bengali saying or what, but if there's milk in the marketplace, why keep a cow? You know? So that's the basic idea nowadays that people find is more convenient, it's more comfortable, even though they don't weigh in the anxiety factor. You know, that, you know, being in all the anxiety, going to work, working and with people, making money, maintaining a situation, paying for a house, paying for a car, paying for this, they don't weigh in all those circumstances because of conditioning. That's what conditioned life means. So, um, as... I can give you my experience. Yeah, yeah, you can see yeah. your own I, uh, experience. I was, you know, I, when I f first came to Brazil, we were just opening up the first farm, Novo Gokula. So I went to live on the farm, and the first month was miserable, getting bit by the bugs, you no know, bathing in the river, you know, no, no electricity, using little candle, you no. Know, uh, but after one month, it was very nice. And then when I went back to the city, I found the city was hellish. But then because my service was preaching, I ended up back in the city. But it was, I just saw it, it's like anything, like taking a cold shower. You know, before you get in, it seems like a torture. But once you get under the water, then it feels very nice. You know? yes, <laughs> uh, so as sannyasis, you've been traveling all over the world and preaching. So seeing the condition of the world nowadays in modern society, especially for us devotees in this con, how can this Varnasama community, uh, Vaisnava society based on Vedic culture, can be established again, just to revive? Well, as far as I can see, Srila Prabhupada, you know, saw Varnasram in two ways. Varna, Daibi Varnasram and Varnasram for organizing outside society, which Srila Prabhupada had the idea 
that to make society sane, we need a Varnashram scheme. So, you know, I don't think Varnashram just means, uh, you know, having a, a, a rural community. It means that, that, as Prabhupada said so many times, it's a natural thing. Some people are Brahmins. Some people are Vaishas, some people are Shudras, some people are, you know, Kshatriyas by nature. So according to you, Varnasram also can happen even in city life? Yeah, to, to a certain extent, mm -hmm. you know. When we understand the divisions, I was just speaking the other day in one class that, you know, if, we, if school systems were organized properly, they would train people in what they're, they're good at, and then they would be enthus enthusiastic. Instead of going to school, and, trying to learn things that is very difficult because they're not inclined to those things. So these are all different aspects of Varnashram. You know? And so to whatever degree possible in any situation, some aspects of Varnashram we're applying. When we're applying in our temples, there's a temple president, someone's a Brahmin, he does jagyas, someone may be shudring, you know, they do hard work in the temple, and someone may be a, a Vaishya, they work and they support the temple. So to some degree, and then of course in a rural community you can develop it farther. And if you make your community self-sufficient, then you can take Varnashram to the highest degree. So I see it as manifesting and to different degrees according to the circumstance. But when we anybody takes second initiation, you're actually, you know, mantra initiation, just like Shukadeva Goswami, he was totally transcendental. He didn't take mantra diksha. He just preached. No. But, you know, uh, Prabhupada comments that, that Vyasadeva, he saw the young girls, he, he, you know, they covered themselves because they felt he's, he's within the Varnashram system. So, unless you're like Shukadeva Goswami, some aspects of Varnashram will, if you're practicing some degree of Krishna consciousness, that to a certain point, you'll, you'll be utilizing Varnash. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, would you like to give some conclusion words? Yeah. From your, according to your own vision, like, as Prabhupada mentioned, this is also very essential, but because we still see some contradictory from one devotees, another devotees, they have some argument that, oh, just, in the age of Kali, you just need to chant the Hare Krishna and that's sufficient. Yeah, actually Prabhupada comments on that, you know. Uh, he says that, yes, but that's, that's true, but we cannot imitate Hare Das Thakur. No, we can't just, no one can just chant Hare Krishna. So when people say you just chant Hare Krishna, it means they don't want to, probably they're not very inclined to have good sadhana, probably they're not very inclined to make their whole life Krishna conscious. You know? So I find that most people that say that it's because they want a certain degree of freedom so they can live live out their their you know attachments and you know and and Varnashram is a way that one's attachments can be nicely dovetailed in Krishna consciousness. Thank you. Thank you.